Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, I'm going to cover ArbSwap. This is a new airdrop based on the Arbitrum Nova blockchain. So this is very interesting because the Arbitrum ecosystem is actually expanding a lot. Like always, we are going to cover the project a little bit. And of course, the step by step on how to participate on the airdrop. And I found information that confirms that it's going to be an airdrop. So this is a 100% confirmed chance to get tokens for this project. This is a decentralized exchange on Arbitrum Nova. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well like always you are going to have access to this Google Sheet so you can download it and have the steps here to check it now and every time that you want. And like you know, I have been doing an airdrop organizer so we can keep track on everything that we are doing in this channel. So you can download this sprite sheet also. You need to go to my YouTube channel section, go to videos and you need to open this how to organize your airdrops. In the description of that video, you are going to have the link for the airdrop organizer. This is to be able to get all the airdrops that you want and how you participate in an organized way. And you also can go to the different tabs and create your own tabs for the particular airdrops. So you can put all your dates and all the tasks that you need to accomplish to get the airdrop. And you can follow day by day what you have been done and not for the different airdrops. So check and download the airdrop organizer. And for all of you that ask me in the comment sections, when are going to have the tokens for all these already projects that we did airdrop. Most of them still are potential airdrops are not confirmed. The ones that we are going to have right now for sure is the Paxword reward. This is for November 4th is ending. Also Granary Finance, I think this is the last week and probably next week we are going to have some announcement on dates. And Optimism, you have time for the quest until uh, middle of January. So this is the only three dates confirmed that we have. But as soon as I get information, because I will be continue following all these projects that I participate, I will post in Twitter how to claim each of these airdrops as soon as we can claim it. So you don't need to be worried about that. I will tell you that in Twitter. I cannot make videos about that because it will be an ending series of claiming videos. So subscribe to my Twitter account at CryptoCState so you are up to date with everything about the airdrops and these following airdrops. And I also I'm going to put here a column when you can claim it and how to do it. So you need to get this airdrop organizer, put it the link of this price sheet on your bookmark so you can check it time to time to know if there are news also for the claiming airdrops. Now let's go to ArtSwap, which is the video of today. Like I mentioned, ArtSwap is a decentralized automated market maker exchange for Arbitrum Nova. Remember that Arbitrum has two chains, Arbitrum 1, which is like the main chain, and Arbitrum Nova, which was a secondary chain, more focused on scalability and speed of the transaction for different things like gaming or social media platforms. So this project is built there. And if you want to have more information about our swap uh, documentation, you can go to the Medium pages. And in this video, we have two airdrops in one for this. The first one that I want to commend you is about the Twitter for get a hundred dollars on our swap very, very quick. They did a 1,500 USDT airdrop uh, in October and they just published it in the Twitter account that I recommend you to follow our swap official in Twitter. You know that you have from November 1 and November 7 to participate. So you need it to do it today. And the price of this could be $100. For this, you need to add Arbitrum Nova and your MetaMask. Share your screenshot on the two different accounts in the tweet. And send the tweet link and Arbitrum addresses into Connect Network channel in our swap Discord. So if you do these three steps, you may want a 100 USDT. So this is our first community campaign for ArtSwap. 
So you can do this and maybe get that hundred dollars. Now guys, let's go into the airdrop. So in order to do this, you need to get the network of Arbitrum Nova. If you are not connected there, you can go here to chainlist.org, search for Arbitrum and you can see Arbitrum Nova here. You can add it to MetaMask or connect. So I will be connecting right now. Once you have and you are connected to Arbitrum Nova, we need to bridge some Ethereum to Arbitrum Nova. You can do it from two different places, with the official bridge or with Arbiter. I would recommend you to do it with both for different reasons. I think always it's important to use the official bridge to go into Arbitrum. That way you apply also for the Arbitrum airdrop itself that you can check the links here that is appearing if you want to do the Arbitrum airdrop. I think that airdrop is going to be more than $10,000 in value, so check that link. And if you go here to the bridge, remember all the links are going to be here on the sprite sheet so you can enter free to this sprite sheet. The link is in the description and in the pin comment. So you can select here your mainnet, just put something from your Ethereum mainnet, how much do you want to bridge to Arbitrum Nova. And then you can click move funds to Arbitrum Nova, confirm the transactions. The gas fees right now is really high for Ethereum mainnet, but you can do it in another time if it's so high to you and here you are moving and using the bridge this could take 15 minutes or a little more even so leave it there open and in the meantime you can do this twitter community campaign so maybe to get this 100 usdt and also you can go to orbiter and i also recommend you to use it because orbiter doesn't have a token we have been using orbiter in many of our videos and maybe at some point they are going to launch a token there's no confirmation on that but if you bridge here you probably have more chances to get it so connect your wallet and what you can do here is move funds from any layer 2 solution in ethereum or ethereum mainnet into another chain so i'm going to move here on ethereum mainnet into arbitrum nova Click send and confirm and send. Now you need to wait some minutes in order to this bridge the asset from Ethereum mainnet into Arbitrum Nova. So guys, once you bridge already Ethereum into Arbitrum Nova, you are already counting that for your Arbitrum airdrop. So that is important. Remember to check the link of the description for Arbitrum airdrop. Now we are going to go to rswap.io and we are going to do three things. Make a swap. And remember, this is already live mainnet, so you are going to spend your tokens there. Add liquidity and remove liquidity. It's very easy to do. And I already found information that the airdrop is confirmed for Q1 of 2023. So we are more than two months apart of that. So I would recommend you to do transactions here. Remember, more volume is better. So if you have a lot of money to move, into Arbitrum Nova, then you do some transaction, add liquidity and remove it. And then you can move out your funds. You are going to be more eligible than many other people with low volume for the airdrop. That is usually how it works. And then just do a couple of swaps once per week because we are two months apart. So doing transactions one per week, which is what I am going to do for our swap, I think is enough. And you can see here, guys, uh, this is the Discord of our swap that they put this for the upcoming 2023 Q1. We got three items so far. Launch governance token ARPS and liquidity mining. So here you have your confirmation that they are going to launch a token and probably we are going to have an airdrop from this because they are really, really into airdrops on the community like you can see with this community campaign. So I really think it works it to do this task one per week at least. So we can participate on the airdrop and get it in Q1. So now that you have some funds here, let's go and connect your wallet. Remember to be using Arbitrum Nova here. Go to swap and I'm going to select USDC here because I'm going to do a liquidity pool also. So I will only put half of what I have here, even less, zero two. I'm going to do the swap, confirm the swap. And something that I don't like from this project guides and concerns me a little is that you can see that it's a real copy paste of PancakeSwap. They didn't even bother to change the loading when you are doing a transaction. If you see that, 
you are going to see that there, there's a pancake as a spinner for waiting the transaction. So they really copy all the code for pancake swap, which is uh, open source, but they didn't actually finish it to make it real for themselves. So that is something that I really don't like of this. Now that we have the swap done, go to liquidity, click on add liquidity. I'm going to select USDC and Ethereum and I'm going to click max on USDC. So they match the both coins for the liquidity pool, enable the USDC. And you can see that the transactions are going correctly into the Nova Explorer in Arbitrum. So you can see that this is already helping you maybe for the airdrop of Arbitrum itself besides the ArbSwap possible airdrop. Now click on supply and we are going to confirm this liquidity pool. You can see the icon of PancakeSwap there. I really hate that they didn't take the job to change that. Transaction was submitted and transaction was received. I don't have any errors with this transaction. This is mainnet and the code is working because it's a PancakeSwap code adapted to this new network of Arbitrum Nova. But anyways, you shouldn't have any problems. You can see that I move it less than $15. So with $13, I already did some transactions here. Of course, this is very low volume. You should use as much as you can of volume at least first. Now you can see here that you have your liquidity. You can click it and you can remove the liquidity that you already did. I will take 70% from the liquidity pool. Sign this and click remove, confirm, confirm the gas fees and transaction. The transaction was submitted and transaction was confirmed here on Arbiscan. So you can see now that we have less on our liquidity pool. So guys, these are the three actions that you need to do. Swap, enter liquidity, remove liquidity. You have a dasher section if you want to check that and they are going to launch an accelerator for support the Arbitrum ecosystem growth. But for the airdrop again, you only need to do these three things. Guys, this is all for the video, very quick and easy to do. With this way, you also help your participation in the Arbitrum airdrop because you are using Arbitrum Nova transactions, which is something that I think it will help you to that. Remember this airdrop is confirmed or kind of confirmed for Q1 of 2023. So we are still two months apart from that. I will make transactions one time per week, which is of, of my wallet. And in one of them, use a very big amount of volume. So you are really sure to qualify for this. Remember to get the airdrop organizer. And guys, please, before you leave, like the video, helps a lot for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. You are not going to regret it. You are going to make money with me with all these airdrops. Because right now it's a bear market, there is not much to do. If you are doling cost averaging in your other tokens, then using your time for airdrops is a great idea at this point. And click the bell to get the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And also please share this video or any of the other airdrop videos that I did in any of your social media so I get more traction into the channel. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.